To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video Joe Wix has raised over £1. 5 million for children in need after exercising for 24 hours. The body coach became a national treasure thanks to his free YouTube P classes for kids during lockdown, but was pushed to his absolute limits as he took on a 24-hour P challenge to raise money for disadvantaged children and young people across the UK. And the UK paid him back, as they raised £1,520,020 for worthy causes. The challenge had raised around £630,000 by 7 a.m. this morning, but less than two hours later, the total had rocketed by nearly £400,000 as fans tuned into BBC Radio 2 on Friday morning, and more than doubled by the time the challenge ended. As the star finished up his challenge, he said, I feel so buzzed, full of adrenaline, Captain Sorontonen. However, when asked by Zoe Ball what he would do now that he's completed the marathon, he said, I'm gonna bounce all over the room and probably faint downstairs and get to my hotel bedroom and sleep as much as I can. Zoe joked that his wife Rosie would have a lot of washing to do after the massive workout. But before that, Joe celebrated the end of his challenge with a nice cold G&T. The star asked his Instagram followers whether he should indulge in the tipple despite the early hour, and later enjoyed a gin and tonic with Rosie at his room in the Langham Hotel. This was followed up by a dip in an ice bath for his feet, before Joe fell into bed with a sandwich and a bag of hula hoops. The Breakfast of Champions Joe started his epic challenge at 9.25 a.m. on Thursday morning, and cycled, rode, ran, boxed, did yoga, stretched and danced through the next 24 hours. Aside from his mandated five-minute breaks every hour, Joe was moving constantly for a full 24 hours, and was given boosts along the challenge as celebrity guests dropped in. The star did a spin session with Mark Cavendish MBE, was put through his stretching paces by gymnast Max Whitlock, and even had a dance-off with Mel C to the Spice Girls song Spice Up Your Life. As the challenge drew to a close, Joe's wife Rosie dropped by the studio to support him through the last stages, with his kids Indy and Marley and his mum Raquela cheering him on over video call. However, even with all of the celebrity support, Joe was feeling the burn, and the sickness. He explained to Zoe Ball that his lips were chapped, and he felt ill due to dehydration, despite drinking water all the time. Earlier this morning, Joe said, I feel awful. I feel like I've cycled the Tour de France by myself. Bringing the challenge to a sweaty ending, Joe finished his grueling challenge with a 20-minute hit session, as he held a P-class for schoolchildren around the country. The fitness instructor got a burst of energy as he did star jumps, kangaroo hops and squats, with a class of kids and, of course, Pudsey, exercising along via video call. The 24-hour challenge is a favorite of children in need, with 2019 seeing Rylan Clark Neal raise over £1 million for charity by singing karaoke for 24 hours. The previous year, Strictly Come Dancing hosts Tess Daly and Claudia Winkleman also managed to raise over £1 million with a 24-hour dance-a-thon. Last year's Children in Need Appeal raises £47,886,382, and they will be hoping to top that total tonight with the 2020 edition of the annual fundraiser. Children in Need is on from 7pm on BBC One.